This is Jane Iris Magnet for Stone Monkey Radio. The following is a work of fiction designed for entertainment purposes, just like all of Stone Monkey Radio. Don't take this seriously, we don't want you getting hurt. Some listeners may find this disturbing, you have been warned. With that in mind, on with the show. Hello and welcome to the sixth guided experience brought to you on behalf of the program. By now, you should have completed the cardiovascular tests and your spine should be fully healed. If not, please pause this recording now and discuss this with your amelioration technician. Now, sit reasonably comfortably and insert your ear screw, screw, screw until it is flush with what remains of your eardrum. Hear the crunch as you push through the scabs. Scabs. Now, I'm going to count down from five to one. And when I do, you will be... Five. Hear the calm sounds of the ocean, the waves, the birds, the gentle rustle of the trees. Four. See the clear water. The white sand. The azure sky. Three. Feel the sun on your skin. The warm breeze. The vague sense of unease. Two. Smell the fresh air. The ocean spray. The blood of the slaughtered. One. You are nothing. You are the void. Now, you find yourself on a crowded street. The weather is warm. The air is thick and humid. All around you are business people, sweating away in smart suits. Each one gleaming in the sun. The scent of them is overpowering. The sun is so bright that it is hard to see. It bounces off of every steel and glass building, every lamppost, every passing vehicle. Not that the vehicles are moving much. They sound their horns and drivers lean from windows to shout at each other. The stink of so many running engines on such a hot day is insufferable when mixed with the stench of so much humanity. Everyone feels too close. There are too many people and things in this space. Too much light and sound and smell and heat. Too many people touching you, barging you, brushing against you. Everything is too much, too close. The air is so thick that you find yourself gasping to breathe, struggling to get the oxygen you need. You feel that you are drowning in this sea of heat, bodies and cacophonous machines. Suddenly, a hand thumps onto your left shoulder, and someone is far too close. You feel their breath on your cheek as they whisper in your ear. You lose control of your limbs and fall to the ground, where you are immediately trampled by those moving about you. Your face smashes into the concrete, and you feel several teeth break. You feel your fingers being trodden on. The bones crack as careless strangers stamp on you, making irritated noises. You feel someone spit on your head. It is warm and thick and spreads slowly through your hair and dribbles down your neck. Irritated sounds become more aggressive as you begin to hold people up with your obstruction. Some shout curses at you, someone kicks you hard in the gentles and then stomps over your prone form. Stomping on you and screaming obscenities. Another trips lightly on your shoulder and a knee falls heavily into your back. A huge aggressive cry goes up and they begin to kick and stomp you on the floor. Every part of you is in pain, your mouth is full of blood. And now, a number of people are kicking and stomping you. A foot comes down hard on your right ankle, utterly crushing it. 
two feet stomp at once, crushing your ribcage, and you feel fantastic agony as bone pierces your skin. A briefcase comes down hard, crushing your skull. You are hot with pain and the humidity of the day, disgusting and destroyed by greasy strangers. You feel hands reach down and pick you up. They tear off your clothes and throw you bare-skinned on top of a car. The heat of the metal sears your flesh. You smell yourself cooking on the boiling roof. Around you, you feel hands gripping your limbs and pulling in different directions. At your hips and shoulders, you feel the strain. The hands pulling your broken foot struggle to keep a grip on the destroyed and swelling appendage. Your skin goes tight as you feel your left shoulder popping out of its socket. Then your hips go both at once, and your other shoulder last. You will surely die here. As your head lolls back over the rear of the vehicle, you notice, standing apart from the crowd, a nun. The white of her habit is so filthy, streaks of dried blood line her cheeks, and you see flies buzzing from her hollow eye sockets. In her hand, she holds a rusty saw. Now, I'm going to count down from five to one, and when I do, you will be horribly dismembered. Five. You feel the skin and muscles struggling to hold together under the onslaught of tugging from the crowd. Four. You feel helpless rage at the injustice of your treatment at the hands of these smartly attired pedestrians. 3. You feel something inside of you starting to tear. 2. You involuntarily reach out with your thoughts and start to wrap up all of your attackers with the tendrils of your mind. 1. With a scream, you feel your right leg torn off and in that instant, you mentally crush everything around you. Everyone within eight feet of you falls to the ground dead and bleeding from every orifice. Through the blinding agony, you see the nun smile, then turn around and walk away. This concludes the sixth guided experience brought to you on behalf of the program. Now, please press the yellow button and await your amelioration technician. This has been a recording by Stone Monkey Radio. Stone Monkey Radio is written and created by Jane Harris Magnet. Join me on YouTube as Maniac Janiac, on Twitter as at Maniac Janiac, and SoundCloud.com as Jane Harris Magnet. Thank you for joining us. Join us again sometime. When strangers in the streets will tear you limb from limb.